Solve the exponential equation using the method of relating the bases by first write, rewriting the equation in the form b to the u equals b to the v. The equation we're working with is 5 to the x cubed power equals 25 to the x over 5 to the negative x squared. We're going to use the method of relating the bases and we're going to start off by writing in the form b to the u equals b to the v. And the relating the basis method says that once the bases are the same, the exponents must be equal to each other. So we're going to be able to simplify the equation to be u equals v. Now we have some work to do to rewrite the equation in this format starting off. As I look at this example, let me write it a little bit larger. We have 5 to the x cubed equals 25, 25 to the x over 5 to the negative x squared. So as I look at the bases that I have here, I have 5, 5, and 25. I want to try to write all of these expressions with the same base. When you write them with the same base, you have all kinds of properties that you're allowed to use. So let's rewrite the 25 with a base of 5 so that we have all the same base. And 25 is equal to 5 squared. So that gives me 5 squared to the x over 5 to the negative x squared. So now I'm going to simplify this expression in the numerator um, with the power rule for exponents. The power rule for exponents gives us this property, b to the m to the n. So if we have an exponential expression that then is raised to a power, we can multiply those powers together to get b to the m times n. So that's going to allow me to rewrite this as 5x cubed equals 5 to the 2x over 5 to the negative x squared. So I multiplied that 2 and x together. And then I'm going to simplify this right-hand side using another property of exponents called the quotient rule. This is the quotient rule for exponents. And with the quotient rule, if we have a fraction, that's why we call it the quotient rule, and we have the same base, in the numerator and the denominator. Let's say we have b to the m over b to the n. If we have the same base with expressions being divided, we're going to subtract the exponents. So that's going to give b to the m minus n. Sorry about that, my whiteboard's acting a little funky. So on the right hand side here, we will notice that we do have the same base, so we can apply that property of the quotient rule to get five to the two x minus negative x squared. So let's simplify that subtraction in the exponent. We would have 5 to the 2x plus x squared on the right hand side. And now we have written it so that the bases are the same on both sides. So now that we've written it with the base being the same on both sides, we're going to apply that relating the basis property or the one-to-one -one property and say that the exponent on the left 
x cubed is equal to the exponent on the right, 2x plus x squared. So this gives me a polynomial equation, and I'm going to solve this with factoring. I'll move all the terms to the same side. That's going to give the equation x cubed minus x squared minus 2x equals 0. I'll start factoring the greatest common factor of x. I factor out that x, I'm left with x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And x squared minus x minus 2 is a quadratic, and I'll try to factor that. x times x is x squared. 2 times 1 is 2. And I need the negative on the 2 and the positive on the 1. And I'll set each of these factors equal to 0. x equals 0, x minus 2 equals 0, x plus 1 equals 0. And that gives solutions of x equals 0, x equals 2, and x equals negative 1. So we have three solutions to this exponential equation. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole thing at once. So we had to apply some properties of exponents to get it in the right format. And once we did that, we were able to relate the bases and solve the remaining equation. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.